Here I've got those beautiful cliffs, but I want to replace the sky with more dynamic one. Make sure that you select the video and go up to the effect control panel. From the opacity, select the pen tool, go to the program monitor and from fit, we're going to change it to 400%. Right, let's I'll have a better look of the sky so I can create more accurate mask. Then I'll start drawing the mask around the edges and because this is gonna take a while, I'll speed it up and we'll come back with the final result. Now when I'm done with the masking, I'll change the screen size back to fit so we can see better what's going on. Then I'll go back to the mask and tick on this inverted box so we can get rid of the sky. Then I'll move the first video onto the second video track and grab the sky replacement and place it below this video. But as you can see, it doesn't look so natural and that's why I'm gonna select the second video and move up to position and adjust it a little bit so we can have those clouds above the cliffs. And as you can see, already it looks much better. Then I'll select the first video again, go back to the mask and increase the feather to around 18%. Already looks really good, but we can make it even better. I'll go to colors, from there I'm gonna go down to creatives and I'll use the Kodak 3510 loot. Then I'll select the second video and use exactly the same loot. And that's how you can replace any kind of sky in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.